Today, we will learn to manage and monitor projects in Power BI. We will create a Gantt chart to monitor the progress of various projects and their tasks. We will also create a dashboard to monitor the progress and status of various tasks by projects, team leaders and group heads. We will use the following data for our project management dashboard. The first column contains the task ID. The second column contains the task ID of the parent task. The third column contains the project ID. Assigned to column refers to the team head defined in the team sheet. Each task has their start date and the end date. A task only starts after its parent task has completed. Current date is the today's date. Progress is shown in percentage. The tasks that are 100% complete have the complete status. Link to this data is placed in the description below. If you want to practice along, please download the file and place it in your hard drive. Now, open the Power BI desktop application and click on the Get Data button. In the Get Data window, select Excel Workbook and click on the Connect button. In the Open dialog box, select the file and press Open. In the Navigator window, select both the tables, and press Load. This will load the data into Power BI. All the fields should appear on the right side, in the Power BI user interface. Insert a text box from Home tab, to create a title for the dashboard. Type an appropriate title for the dashboard. Add a pie chart to the dashboard to display progress by project. Add project field to the legend area. Add the progress field to the values area and change it from sum to average. You may have noticed that the progress values are not correctly displayed on the pie chart. To correctly display the progress values, go to the data view. Change the format of progress column to percentage. Go back to the report view and see the results. The values are displaying fine now. Add a column chart to the dashboard to display tasks by status. Add the status field to the X axis. Add the task field to the Y axis as count. Add a bar chart to the dashboard to display progress by team leader. Add the progress field to the X axis as average. Add the team leader field to the Y axis from team's table. This will display incorrect information because Teams Table and Data Table do not have an active relationship defined. 
To correct the problem, go to the model view. Now, create a relationship between the number field, in teams table, and the assigned to field, in data table. Go to the report view, to see the results. You will see, that the information is now correctly presented, in the bar chart. Insert a column chart, to analyze progress by group heads. Add the progress field, to the y-axis, as average. Add the group head field, from teams table, to x-axis. Add a pie chart to the dashboard, to display progress, by team leaders. Add the progress field, to the values area, as average. Add the team leader field, from the teams table, to the legend area. Our dashboard is now complete. We can now analyze the progress, by projects, by team leaders, and by group heads. Now, rename the page 1 to Dashboard. Create a new page, and rename it to Gantt Chart. To create a Gantt chart, we need to import a custom visual. We have it saved on our hard drive. But you can get one from online store as well. Insert the project field, to the dashboard. Change the visual to a slicer. Change the slicer type, to a vertical list. Place the slicer, at the left side of the dashboard. Add the Gantt chart, to the dashboard. Add the task field, to the task area. Add the parent field, to the parent area. Add the start date field, to the start date area. Add the end date field, to the end date area. Add the progress field, to the completion area. The Gantt chart is too large, both horizontally, and vertically. Go to the Format area. Change the task height, in the task settings, to reduce the vertical size of the Gantt chart. Now, change the data type, from week to year, to reduce the horizontal size of the Gantt chart. This looks much better now. You can now see entire chart, without scrolling. The vertical line is the current date. If progress is ahead of this line, the project is efficiently being completed, otherwise it is slow and we are falling behind the deadline. Here the progress is slow, and we may not meet the deadline. Here we have already completed the task before the due date. This is why the Gantt chart is an integral part of the project management. It tells you the complete story, and the exact progress of the projects, 
and all of their tasks. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked our tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and updates.